My name is Elizabeth White, and this is my story. I've been in the legal profession for a long time. I started out life as a paralegal back in 1977 and determined I should go on to law school from there. So after law school, I practiced law for 15 years. Then I became a judge and I was a judge for 23 years. And now I've been doing arbitration and mediation with JAMS for a little over two years now. So um, I've been at this quite a while. My legal professional journey began at UCLA. I was a French major, and so I kind of wondered what I was going to do with that. Um, and I really hadn't thought much about law, except that my father had been a lawyer, and my mother's cousin was a judge, and I thought that what they did was pretty cool. But um, I really wanted to be an international lawyer, and being terribly naive, I thought, oh, I'll be a paralegal first, then I'll go to law school, and then I'll jump right into international law at The Hague speaking French. Um, obviously, that didn't happen. Um, what happened instead is that I went with a small firm in downtown LA after law school, and it was predominantly men, and the male associate got to go to court all the time, and I never got to go to court until they ran out of lawyers to go to court, and I was selected to go to court. Of course, I was told it didn't matter if I lost, and I practiced my oral argument before my grandmother for days, and then I went down to that courtroom, I stepped into that courthouse, and I was in awe. I loved it. I loved everything about the courtroom. I loved everything about my experience with that judge. And I was launched. The techniques that I've used to be successful in mediation is to truly listen and try to completely and totally understand what the parties are going through. So that takes time, it takes listening skills, and it also takes empathy because people in litigation are not happy people. They're upset, they're stressed. And so to the extent that you can bring the stress level down and get people to appreciate the other person's side um, so that you can find middle ground, I think that's tremendously helpful. In order to achieve diversity, equity, and inclusion, you have to have a plan and you have to encourage people to follow that plan. We need to have a working group that's reflective of the population at large so that the core group includes everyone. ADR professionals can do lots to help DE&I efforts. I'll give you just one example of what I'm doing actually tonight, and that is that I'm going to Loyola Law School where we have a mentor jet program. And Loyola Law School has had a wonderful program recruiting law students of all backgrounds, all colors, and I think they're 50-50 gender, if not more, um, more women than men. But the most important involvement that I've had since I became a judge is my membership in the National Association of Women Judges. And I'm proud to say that I just completed my year as president this last weekend at our conference in Detroit. And one of the things that National Association of Women Judges has done is to encourage diversity on the bench. The organization started in 1979, and its goal and its mission was to increase diversity, predominantly gender diversity, women. I'm very pleased to say that we now have many, many more women on the bench than we did back in 1979. And we actually have four women on our US Supreme Court right now, so that's pretty amazing. My three words for my recipe for success are prepare. In other words, be prepared, be ready. Read the papers, know what the parties are going through. And then my second word is to engage. So be fully engaged. Don't think about what else is going on in your life, be fully engaged. And then finally, enjoy, because these are wonderful people who appear before you, who want to be before you, and who want you to help them, and so enjoy it. I'm Judge Elizabeth White, and I'm proud to be a mediator and arbitrator at JAMS.